and our taco sliders. Look what we just got, taco toasters. It's in, it's in. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, toast. This is day 225, the taco toaster episode. The taco toaster is not actually a toaster. It's just this thing. Man, just connect your tortillas and go for it. Easy to use, simple cleanup. Your valued customer here at Taco Toaster. So these taco toasters things say that you insert and then it folds up and then you just plop it right in there. We're gonna go first with the Guerreros. I can see it's it's unfolded. We're boarding this room. Abort! Uh, taco number one, fail. They say it's best to microwave your tortilla before you put it on here, adding another step to the process. And unfortunately, our microwave doesn't work. All right, this one's a little bit more pliable. Yep, there it goes. It just it's not working out at all. Maybe it's the tortilla itself. But we're moving on to the soft and flexible tortillas from the La Tortilla factory. The taco toaster test number two with the La Tortilla factory. Tortillas sliding and already I noticed a major difference in the tortilla. They're advertised and soft as soft and flexible, so this should work out perfectly. Already see it browning up in there. That actually looks really nice. Alright, well that's cool. Oh okay, so this is what we got. Last but not least, we've got Shannon's homemade tortillas. These guys right here. What do you think? Do you think your tortillas are gonna taco? Yep. They're gonna taco real hard. Real hard. Now it's gonna go in the toaster. Oh shit. <laughs> Didn't fuck it up like the last one. Oh, yeah. Wow. That looks pretty good. All right, let's see if these guys taco now. This isn't gonna be the last time, and it sure as hell not the first time that we're gonna do one of these tacos. The caveman breakfast taco. All the meats that you have is what you're gonna need. You want leftovers meats, we're gonna get it all together. We're gonna add some eggs. Egg, the egg. We are going to mix. We're gonna add some pepper, some salt. Keep it basic. So we're gonna dress up the first one right now. It already broke, so it's already not that pretty, but will it taco? Well, fuck that, it'll taco. It'll make a killer fucking taco. All I want is a warm tortilla anyways. And then next up is that La Tortilla Factory. Seems to meet up all right. It's just a little bit of everything. I think the best one was the Shannon's homemade the homemade taco seemed to be a little bit more moist than the rest, probably because there's no preservatives or anything. Is the question really, does it make delicious tacos? Or does it warm up the tortilla sufficiently to make an epic taco concoction? And I think the answer is simple, yes. Yes, it does get the damn job done. Look at this. Looky, looky. Yeah, that corn tortilla, it's a little messed up, but hey, still de look delicious, yes. I'm gonna get some close-ups and I'm gonna eat the shit out of all three of those tacos right now. <laughs> First taco's up. It's good. It's a good taco. Next up. The La Tortilla Factory. Mm, yeah. It's easy to say in the beginning that you don't care about the tortilla. And then you have a pretty good tortilla. And that changes the whole game. The La Tortilla Factory, that one turned out awesome. 
but I think that's the tortilla itself. Let's just jump right ahead and try our, our homemade sourdough tacos. It's all in the tortilla. These are delicious. It's amazing how differently tasting the homemade tortilla is. The hybrid taco was definitely 10 times better than the than the wheat taco, but the homemade tortilla, holy sh... Hey, want a bite? The taco toaster, I didn't need you, so I appreciate it. I learned something from this experience, Taco Slayers. Tortilla's the most important part. Day 225 is done.